Hey y'all, this is Ife of Ife360 TV. Um, I'm back with another video. I know I did a live stream literally yesterday. Or well, last night. It was like midnight this morning. <laughs> and I washed my hair. So I washed my hair. Um, so no, last night I was putting in a hot oil treatment with with rice bran oil my first time using that my hair was actually pretty nice and silky when i washed my hair out which was pretty good um anyways so when i woke up this morning i did my egg wash or hair mask i call it i just put like a hair mask i leave it in for an hour but anyways I, it has egg lemon apple cider vinegar um i used the rice bran oil again and in the mix and uh what was it yeah, so egg, lemon, upside of vinegar, oil. Any kind of oil is fine. It works pretty well. So, anyways, so so far I washed my hair and then I kind of left it. I'm kind of losing my voice. <clears throat> it would be perfect if it was work next week. I washed my hair out with some shampoo and conditioner. And I was actually, um, I already put in leave in conditioner. So, this is a leave in conditioner that I use. I use this one, Mio Organics. Um, I use that one. Um, and then I'm going to put in, what am I putting in? I'm going to put in some flaxseed. So I'm actually doing my hair moisturizing routine a little bit differently. Usually I put oil on my hair first when it's damp, and then I put flaxseed gel, then leave in conditioner. And then I follow it up with my shea butter or oil. But today I'm doing it slightly differently. On damp hair, I um, I use the leave-in conditioner first, and then I'm going to put on my flaxseed, and then put a little bit. Let's spritz a little bit of water, and then seal it in with some oil, some some oil and my shea butter. So I'm doing it like completely different. I just want to try something a little bit different. Oh my gosh, you know my voice is like going. Uh, so it's probably not the best thing to do in live stream, or is it? <laughs> Anyways, so if you want to support my channel, please feel free to buy me a coffee. I've been doing these live streams quite a bit, and I have never asked for anything. And I usually don't ask for anything at all, but I want you guys to feel free to support my channel if you like what you've been seeing on my channel. Feel free to buy me a coffee if you'd like to to support and if you would like to join my patreon it's brand new that i've put up that patreon as well and i hopefully um feel inclined to support and i appreciate you for it so anyways let me continue oh for those who actually last night so oh god my voice <laughs> my voice is so funny um so people actually bought me coffees yesterday. I wanted to thank them. Um, person didn't leave their name. The first person they bought me three coffees. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And uh, that was I came off the live. I saw it, which was I appreciate that so much. And then someone named Kelly, I believe her name was. She bought me a coffee as well. So I want to. I really do thank you for your support. For those who have shown support so far, I really do appreciate it. Um, okay. I just wanted to say that before I continue. See so, you. Know, so let me just section my hair a little bit so I can um put in the uh <laughs> oh there's somebody named Bianca Renee doing a a challenge. Hey Vanessa, Vanessa Renee, what's up? If I'm uh, if I'm up right now, it's it's afternoon here, <laughs> so I should be awake. <clears throat> I should be awake. Um, yes, it's five. It's actually quarter to six in the evening here. Um, have I accomplished much today? No, I have not. I did my laundry. <laughs> I guess that's an accomplishment. I did my hair. I'm not fasting, so I feel like I've been cooking all day. When I'm not fasting, I feel like I'm always cooking. That's why I actually love fasting. You don't feel like you're always thinking about food. You're not always thinking about... So right now I'm adding flaxseed to my hair. I don't feel I don't feel like I'm always thinking about cooking on what to cook or I don't feel like I'm always like wondering what like like if I have to meal like meal prep and prepare ingredients to cook. Ah, I don't have to wonder about that at all. So anyways, it's um this is this week I don't uh, I don't fast. There's a week in my my um 
there's a week in my um what do you call it in within my month of fasting because i fast all the time all month long but there's a week that i don't fast at all and i have three meals a day and this week is that week so i follow dr mindy's schedule of fasting for those who are wondering Anyways, for those who are also wondering what I'm putting in my hair right now, I am putting flaxseed shawl in my hair. I don't think I'm putting enough because it still feels a little bit dry. We'll see. Oh, snappy. Dropped it all over the floor. Do you all do that? Like if it falls on your floor, you just pick it up. <laughs> it's just a blob. A blob of craziness. Um, yeah, so, so this is what it looks like so far. There's a mirror right above the laptop, so that's what I'm using. If it looks like I'm not looking at you. All right, so you said a switch up challenge. Who is Bianca Rene? I don't know. Um, is another YouTuber, I'm guessing. So switch up challenge is where you switch up your routine, pretty much. Um, I didn't plan to do it. I was watching another YouTuber, YouTuber another a guy actually. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember his name. He actually is a new YouTuber, it seems. And he did this, what he did it with instead of flaxseed gel, he used Eco Styler. I don't really use Eco Styler. Not I don't really use it. I've never used it. And um, I said I would use my flaxy gel and try it out so i put the leave-in conditioner first which is i don't usually do that i like to put like the really natural things first so like the oils and stuff i like to put that on excuse me on my hair first and i feel it felt really weird to put the leave-in conditioner first i was like i don't know if i can do this but i was like let me try something different let me see how it works all right, but um, let's see how it goes. Whew. So someone asked me, um, they said, we post a message on one of my videos. Actually, she's in my Discord. So if you join my Patreon, you'll be able to um, jo also join Discord as well with the membership, the monthly membership that you pay for, which is only $5, actually. Only $5 a month for the, for the um, membership on Patreon. Anyway, so she messaged me and asked me, I think it was Pookie. <laughs> she asked me if I was feeling better. So, um, yeah, my throat, it was fun so funny. After I made the flaxseed gel for my hair, I actually had some extra flaxseed gel and I drank it. So I drink it. I actually drink it regularly. And uh, it kind of soothed my throat a little bit. Kind of like, do you all drink flaxy tea? It's like so good. It's like really healthy for you, by the way. And anyways, I drank it and my hair just felt, so, oh, I'm sorry, my throat just felt so soothed. So that's probably the only reason why I'm not coughing right now. Because literally just before the live started, I was like, let me come on this live, show you guys. I'm actually feeling a lot better from yesterday. For one, I was tired yesterday. And then, um... And I was coughing to death on this live. Then literally was like, oh, I've got the, the, the C virus. I was joking, but um, I literally woke up this morning. I'm like, maybe it's not a joke. Because <laughs> I felt like crummy this morning when I woke up. And then throughout the day, I felt a lot better. I did a detox, which I think helped. And then... um. This evening, just before I came on in live, I'm like, oh, let me come on while I'm losing my voice. <laughs> let me come on and um, chat with you guys because I feel so much better. And then I literally, just before I pressed play, my throat, my, I just started coughing. I'm like, well, let me drink some flaxseed tea and it really, um, it soothed my throat quite a bit. So, so anyways, um, it's late now. It's 4 a.m. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Those who come on later and see this live stream, they're, they're going to be like, oh, if I. You and your random times to live stream. And live streaming, live streaming two days in a row. 
Ify. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I literally don't think I made enough flaxseed gel. I don't think I made enough. Oh, you find my hair grew long? You mean from the last time? From last year? You find so? You find so? This week I spoke to my kids like in my like straight tuning accent and they were laughing their heads off. One, because I, they were actually understanding me because I was I was I was telling them like a ton of jokes. And they were laughing their heads off. Um and every time I'll go back and teach like how I teach like in a plain, <laughs> plain voice, so they could understand me. Because if I talk in a Trini accent for them all the time. They will be like, what do you say? Literally, what do you say? <laughs> so anyways, um, I did not make enough flaxy gel. I don't know what happened this time. I drank most of it, to be honest. Um, you find, I re I'm really surprised you think that my hair grew so long. Uh, oh, somebody from Australia. Hello, 7.49 p.m. in Australia. It's okay, yeah, you're the same when it's same, well, almost the same time zone. Um, Just slightly um, off by a bit. What? My, my hair is like soaking this thing up. I feel like, what's going on? I did not make enough flaxy gel. Guys, <laughs> this is a disaster. This is like a mess of a live stream. What the hell? I don't make enough. What am I going to do? Okay, luckily I did have some extra tea, so flaxy tea, which is actually just a gel. I was planning to drink it, but I guess I'll just use it in my hair. Anywho, crisis averted. Good thing I made some more flaxy. Yo, drink flaxy tea? Do you all seriously? Do you all drink it? It it is it just it has no, it doesn't have much of a taste, guys. It just it's pretty rum. It just <clears throat> this is one jacked up live stream. Anyways, I don't think my hair like this side. I don't even think I put enough. It just feels so dry. Oh, first of all, I switched up my routine for my hair completely, so it doesn't even feel like what I'm accustomed to feeling like. First of all, so so you think you think my hair's grown? I think I've seen it too, but sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, don't bask in your hair growing too soon, girl. Never know. I don't know. I think it's just a little bit. Okay, this is kind of warm. The shell is so warm. Is it okay if the flaxy shell is warm? See, this one feels a lot more moisturized. I clearly need to add it to my hair when it's warmer or something. This feels so different. Anyways, what else is going on with you guys? Um, it's 4.50 a.m. in North Carolina. Coco Capone. <laughs> Your names are hilarious. All that aloe vera juice, eh? Well, I've been doing quite a bit, so to be honest. <laughs> you know, you all that Ife, you've been doing too much, like how? <laughs> how do we know what really worked Ife? But, um... I feel as though too, I've sort of added the aloe vera to what I originally or always did, or have been doing. Can you guys hear me? I'm not talking so loud. Hope you can hear me. All right, so this is like, this is soaking up the, uh, the flaxseed a lot more than the other side. The other side is like parched. It's as if I didn't even add anything to it. But anyways, as I said, till my damp hair, I applied leave-in conditioner, meal, organics, pomegranate leave-in conditioner. 
I saw something on Instagram about something about her being um cancelled or something. Yo, know, you know me, I don't follow these. Cause what do you what, what share about so it was cancelled? Whew. Every time I come on this live stream, I just feel exhausted. What is this? It's been a long day too. And I have to go help my coworker pack. So not my coworker, but well, yeah, she's my coworker, but another coworker, her uh, her apartment is still um one of them she is like most of our coworkers, they uh, they got stranded abroad. So she's from South Africa. And we have to go help pack her pack her apartment and I don't know silly me <laughs> I was like oh I'll come help y'all I hate packing I hate I swear I swear living in China and move I moved every single year until um 2018 was the last time I moved into uh, this apartment I moved pretty much and I wouldn't lie I'm like I'm over pack I'm over it I'm over moving I'm over packing because I switch jobs every, I switch contracts every year since I've been here. Only in the last two years, I've not moved from this company. So, um, actually, packing, I don't like it. But if it was like, oh, I'll help you, thinking, I'm hoping somebody would be like, oh, no, you don't have to help. But I insisted, I'll help you, it's fine. <laughs> now I'm like, I feel so tired, I really don't want to go help. <laughs> so, anyways, um, but I'll be honest, if I was in a situation where I was stuck, because I, I already helped pack up one of my other co-workers' apartments. Um, if I was in a co-worker situation where I was stuck like that, which is why I think I came back to China. I'm like, bro, I like I would feel for whoever have to come pack my stuff because um, just pack it on a whole, it's just, it's just a lot, man. It's probably why I left Sri Lanka, like, bro, you see? Somebody have to go pack up my stuff. I would feel so sorry for them. But I feel really sorry for like my coworkers who apartments I did have to help pack up to. It is not fun to I could empathize with what they had to go through, you know. Because like honestly, I couldn't pack up everything that she had a lot of like a lot of stuff. I couldn't pack like and she had a lot of boxes and then where are you gonna store she wanted to store her boxes in my apartment and I was like oh, I'm sorry I cannot because my apartment's actually not that big it's just a one bedroom this is actually the first time I've lived in a one bedroom apartment in China usually they give you a two bedroom um, or if I'm like renting my own place because the school provided this apartment and uh, yeah, usually my previous apartments were two bedrooms. So anyway, so my point is it, there was no space to put her boxes and she kept insisting. Um put your my put your put my boxes in your apartment. My girl, there is no there's there is no way to put your boxes, girl. Anyways, we ended up putting her boxes in some other teacher's apartments. I'm so kind of sorry for her because Like I can't, I can't, I can't help you. I want to, but I can't. Anyway, so on my scalp, what did I put? You guys listen to my yappy yap yap yapping. Um, on my scalp, I put my oil, my Ayurveda oil. I literally just um poured this out today. It is a thick. It has like a bunch of Ayurveda powders. I made it so long ago, y'all. I can't even remember. <clears throat> what I put in it. But I know it has rosemary leaves in it for sure. It has um, some amla hibiscus, some neem, shakakai, brahmi bringraj, um, fenugreek seeds, of course, and I just left it. I don't even know how long it's been there. I think it's been there a month or something. I put that on my scalp, so I have that on my scalp, and, and then um, that was it. So I didn't even put I didn't even put the oils on my hair because, as I said, I'm doing like a slightly different hair moisturizing routine this time. So what I'll do, I'll probably film the takedown for this so you guys can see 
what my hair looks like. I don't know. Hopefully, I like it. Okay, let's put this side. Let's let's do this side again because I'll tell you guys, it, it's thirsty. It's just it just feels different. It just feels like like, a, like completely different. It doesn't even feel like my hair. But you all can see that my hair is like getting really, really thick. It's thickening up. It's a nice mix. What does your hair oil have? Are you doing the aloe vera challenge too, Vanessa? I'm wondering if the flaxseed being warm is better because what I just poured into that little bowl there from the tea that I had for me to drink, it feels complete. It feels like my hair was like just taking in the, the, um, it was just holding on to the gel a little bit better. This one just feels like my hair was just so, maybe it was, okay, maybe, okay, now I'm thinking about it differently. Maybe it's sitting on my hair on this side and this side is actually like soaking it up when it's cold. Cause it's actually, it's just, it's cold. There's room temperature. So I'm wondering now, like, is it that my hair is, it's sitting on my hair when it's warm, but it's like soaking it up when it's cold. I don't know. I just feel like my hair is so thirsty and I just feel, it felt like I didn't even put anything on it. Okay, it feels a little bit better now. It feels like I put something on it. Can you guys see? I don't think lighting is there any good. You see? All right, so let me, <clears throat> let me put, ooh, you put castor oil and essential oils in yours. You've never used flaxseed gel on your hair. Actually, I didn't use it for a long, long time, actually. Everybody was on this flaxseed gel. All I used to use on my hair was maybe shea butter and some leave-in conditioner. That was it. That's what I used for a long, long time. My hair was fine. I don't know, I just feel like my hair just doesn't have as much volume on body without flaxy gel now. If I don't use it, my hair just, it just seems flat. My hair has way more body and shine with flaxy gel now. That's how I see it. But I used flaxy gel for years without, sorry, I used, I did my hair without flaxy gel for years. <clears throat> Let me see. All right, still adding some more of the gel to my hair. Yeah, 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 that's a really good. How do you use the apple cider vinegar? How do you use it? How do you use it? Because actually, I'll be honest, um, when I was putting in the egg mixture in my hair today, um, I was applying it to my to the hot oil tree. I didn't wash out the oil from my hair. I just added it on top of the oil. And I was like, oh, I remember when I used to do uh, a pre-poo with uh, apple cider vinegar. So I, used, I would have done a pre-poo maybe for an hour or so or overnight, depending on what my hair needed. And the next day I would put the egg wash on top of that. So I would have used the apple cider vinegar as a pre poo Anyways, my hair feels way better now. I'm just gonna spritz it with a little bit of water. I don't know how this is gonna work, guys. I hope it works. Oh, let me see. So I washed out the egg egg mix from my hair, right, guys? And I swear to God, they're like bits of egg in my hair. And I'm like, but I didn't use hot water to wash my hair out. How did I end up with bits of egg all over my hair? It's not a lot. It's not that well. I don't think. Well, I don't know. Who knows right now? Um, I'll be honest, like, 
I don't know what I'm doing wrong with the egg lately. That that's the second time. Well, actually, I know what the mistake was the first time. I used warm apple cider vinegar last time. That was so stupid. So I ended up with um, ended up with egg bits in my hair. That was so embarrassing. Whatever. Maybe it's egg from back then that's stuck, still stuck in my hair because that was like two washes ago. Maybe it's that. Because my last, my last wash day was actually Ayurveda powders and aloe vera juice. So, I don't think that, um, I don't think it was this wash. Maybe it's from the last wash. Let's see. I want to try flaxseed tea. Literally, the flaxseed tea. I make, oh, sorry, what did I do? I make flaxseed tea um, the same way I make flaxseed gel. Flaxseed tea is flaxseed gel. It's just that you drink it instead of putting it in your hair. <laughs> That's why I was able to just pour it out into the bowl that I'm using for my cup. <laughs> it's the same thing, guys. Flaxseed tea is flaxseed seeds that you boil for your gel. You just drink it instead of putting it in your hair. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, yo, yo, a lot of these things that we put in our hair, we should also be consuming it we should also be consuming it anyways so now that i've like spritzed my hair with some water i'm going to now just let it rest a little bit and my hair just soak it in i saw this on another youtuber's page this is not me guys but as I said, he did, he used eco style, but not foxy gel. And he dipped his hair in water. Like after he put on the gel, he dipped his hair in water. And um, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> no. So I just spritz it instead. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm just check and see if it smells like egg yo. Guys, there's a time I wash my hair out and it still smell like egg. I want it to die. Okay, so I'm just going to put some oil on. Um... Okay, so I'm going to put some oil on my hair. So this is the first time my hair has gotten oil. Before, from how I usually, usually moisturize my hair, I would have put oil a long time ago. <laughs> when my hair was would have been damp. I'm not putting, when I would have first washed my hair, sorry. So I'm not putting a lot with some of the ends and then some oil uh, on the roots. Okay. This would be interesting, an interesting way to see how my hair reacts to this. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just like to put the natural stuff on my hair first so my hair gets like the nutrients from that. I don't know how I feel about putting something synthetic like, although I mean oil is in a way synthetic, but I don't know how I feel about doing the leave-in conditioner first, but isn't that how most people do it? Put the leave-in conditioner first and then they put There, other stuff. Anyways, my hair like it has like really nice volume. It's getting really nice volume again, which is good. Funny enough, I didn't actually use aloe vera this week on my aloe vera challenge. <laughs> I was like, that was funny. Nobody's asked me where is that aloe vera that you use this week, girl. No, oh, I didn't use any. Next week I will though. I've had put enough. I've put enough oil. So let me see what you guys are saying. Okay, on wash day. I wash my hair first, then conditioner or wash if I really feel really feels or smells funny. So you wash it you wash the egg out really good. You never leave it. I wash my hair first and then the egg makes it oils. 
rinse with cold or cold water but wash again a deep condition yeah um i actually haven't done a deep condition in a long time it's a banana um anyways so Right. Now I'm gonna repeat on the other side. I'm gonna put some a some <laughs> go for some eggs. I'm going to. What is your deep conditioner? What do you use? What deep conditioner do you use? See how flat the sides look, looking. Like, do you see how like full the other side was looking? The side looks really flat. <clears throat> do you guys see what I'm seeing, or is it all in my head? All right, so while you guys are watching, for those who are watching, feel free to hit that like button. Yeah. If you like what you're seeing, if you enjoy the live stream, hit that like button. Smash it, smash it. I didn't even ask you all to hit the like button yesterday, but when I checked the live stream, I was like, oh, 31 people hit that like button. Hey, guys. Those likes help, man. Because we know how YouTube be YouTubing. Messing up people's I'll go. But anyways, um so right, so I'm just applying some oil to my hair. So for those who are not joining, I already put leave-in conditioner followed by flaxseed gel that I spritzed with some water. Now I'm putting in some oils. And if this was summertime, I would stop with I would actually just put oils and then braid my hair and that's it. Because some of the time my hair actually prefers oils. I look I think I how did I figure that out? I can't even remember how I figured it out. But my hair actually just prefers something lighter. And but if I may sun a lot, say shea butter is actually a lot better. Anyways, um winter time, I my hair actually does better with shea butter because it's a lot heavier. And um, yeah, and it kind of seals, not kind of, it seals the, see how much fuller my hair is starting to look now? It's starting to look a lot fuller. At least I think so. Oh, it can all be my head, my head. Anyways, um, yeah, so it yeah, the shape, but it just kind of seals the moisture in my hair. So. I don't know what's going on in my hair today. Did I leave the egg? I think I left the I will be honest though. I kind of think I left the egg in my hair too long. I literally forgot it in my hair. And then it was like, oh crap, two hours later. <laughs> I was like, wait, Ife, what are you doing? So an hour max, not two hours like me, people don't. Um ah okay so your deep conditioner is banana avocado egg oils rice water oh that's that's an interesting mix I haven't tried that before here's time to come in guys I'm actually liking this okay so now my next step would be to put <clears throat> my shea butter mix which I made it has shea butter mango butter somebody told me about mango butter oh did i no i was watching a youtube video about different butters that are good for our hair apparently cocoa butter is not so good because it's actually um it stays so hot at room temperature anywho so i switched to mango butter actually it's oh my gosh mango butter is divine it is so smooth. i almost said smooth like butter but it's like so oh it's just so silky smooth i love 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 mango butter so here's what i'm gonna do i'm actually going to let this sit for a bit i'm going to do this side let's unwrap it properly um 
Hey, Lynn. Hey, you're back. You were here for last night's live stream and you're back. Look at that. How'd you, how'd you do that, girl? What are you doing up so early? Okay, have you ever mixed your oils with shea butter? I've mixed, yeah, I've mixed in the oils with the shea butter. I have a look. I have a video on it too. I have a video where I talk about mixing the Ayurveda oils, not the, not just the oils, but the leftover, like the residue from the oil infusion. Like it's like a, uh, the settle, the, the powders that settle at the bottom. I didn't get that idea. I got, sorry, that's not my idea. I got that idea from another YouTuber. I actually um, gave her a shout out on my video. Cause I got the idea from her, it wasn't my idea. But if you find that video, I can't do it now. I can't, usually I would look for the video and post it for you guys. <clears throat> Whatever video I'm talking about, but my hands are wet. So, but anyways, if you look for Ayurvedic Share Butter, I think it's called on my channel. I talk about doing the, adding the powders, the, from the oil fusion to the Share Butter. It's really nice. Yeah, I didn't do it in this. I didn't do it in this. Um, well, I probably should. I didn't do it in this Shea Butter mix. All right. I don't know. So now I'm, I'm trying to like see if I could ascertain if I feel a difference with this order of how I use these ingredients in my hair today. Um, I don't know. Yo, usually I do this quietly by myself. <laughs> I usually moisturize my hair by myself on my own. But I'm like, I should live stream some more and show you guys what I'm too up to. I was gonna show, oh, I'll be honest. I was thinking about live streaming when I was putting in the, putting in the egg wash. But the way that egg wash is messy, it was messy. It was like, every, it was like all over the floor. And I was like, thank God I didn't, I didn't live stream that because you'll all be touching my laptop. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I know, right? So you won't end up with egg in your hair, right? Well, that's the thing. I didn't rinse it out with warm water. So I am still trying to figure out how I ended up with egg particles everywhere. Yo, I don't have no pants. Well, I kind of do, but it's my, <laughs> My what do you call it? My onesie, my one, my onesie pajama pants. Anywho, um, all right, it feels okay. What was I talking about before? This? What was I talking about before this? I can't remember. So, so anyways, um. This is this right now. Oh. Double boil the shea and cocoa butters with the oils. It's easier for me when I want to use it, but I need some mango butter. Right, so that's a good suggestion. And that is literally what I did the last time I made mango butters. I made, I made not the last time, the last time I had cocoa butter. Um, that was the only reason why the, I think the, the, the person who talked about the but different butters on YouTube, she's actually, I think she's like a scientist or a doctor or something. She's actually telling the scientific reasons why certain butters were better than others, chemistry wise. I think mango butter was like one of the best ones to like penetrate your hair shaft or something like that. And the cocoa butter, uh, guys, I don't remember all the information. I'm just like repeating as much as I remember. I think she had said mango butter was really good with like penetrating your strands and protecting them and stuff. So cocoa butter, she didn't, she, she, I think she had said it wasn't that good to be honest. Anywho, but when I think about it, um, I did do the double boiler method with the, when I was making the, my shea butter mix with cocoa butter and my hair, and it, just like even after I would blend it, it would just go back to tiny little bits of solid pieces. So I would blend it and it would get smooth, but then I would always find these 
tiny, tiny little bits of um, hard pieces of cocoa butter. I don't know, I didn't like it. So I'm just actually glad I found the mango butter. And um, it just makes the, the butter, the butter mix so smooth, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? You see what I'm saying? Do you get it? Do you go go get it? Anyways, um, oh boy, I don't know. Every time I do these live streams, I am so sleepy. No matter the time of the day, I'm exhausted. I can feel exhausted again. But one good thing is that I'm not coughing my head off like last night. Okay, so I think I cut my finger. Oh yeah, I did. Oh ow, it burns. All right, so white or yellow shea butter. It's the white shea butter. I get it from a girl here in Shanghai. It's not in Sh not Shanghai, in China, sorry. Um, I don't know where it ships from, but she's from Benin. And the quality is actually pretty good. Excuse me, I get one, one kilogram. I think I get one kilogram for 20 pounds, 20 US, 20 pounds, 20 US. I don't know that's a good, I think that's a good price because there, I, I have other prices in China, well, in China at least, other prices in China, it's like ridiculous. But anyways, it's white shea butter that I use. What do you use? What color shea butter do you guys use? Do you use the white one or the yellow one? But Prices of things are going up in China now, guys. Like because shipping is so much harder, people can't get go home to like stock up on products and can't go home to stock up on their like whatever they sell in China. They're like price gouging now. It's just crazy. Prices have gone up everywhere for everything. To be honest. But I've always, I think for the most part, I've used white shea butter. I think I used yellow shea butter like way back in the day. I haven't seen or you. I don't know. I've seen it, but I haven't used yellow shea butter in a long time. What I want to do, though, I actually want to put some shea butter on my scalp a little bit. And then massage it in a little bit. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna smear that shea butter on my scalp. Do you guys do that sometimes? Put shea butter on your scalp? I don't do it often enough, I know that for sure. I'm just lazy sometimes with it. Oh, I was in my hair knotting. I'm just putting some shea butter on my scalp and just rubbing it in. Especially with this winter time. Actually, today was actually nice and warm. Today was 18 degrees. It was a beautiful day for a walk in the park. Did I go for a walk in the park? I did not. But it was a beautiful day for a walk for a walk in the park. <laughs> oh, well, tomorrow I'm going to another city. Not um, not Shanghai, but. It's a city in my province, actually. It's known for like really good food. A lot of foreigners and stuff are there. Um, anyways, I like people gazing. <laughs> people gazing, some good food. Might go for some Middle Eastern food, like maybe Turkish or something. There's an African food restaurant um, out there, which might, I'm not sure if it's still operational. So that's the other thing about in the past year or so, a lot of businesses got shut down in China. So a lot of companies who were operational before, they shut down. So a lot of people got hit with this. And there are people who, like, when you look at the media, they're like, oh, this thing is not real. Oh, my God. It's real. It's very real. The way that China is starting to lock, lock down again. This crap is real. Too real. Too real. All right. What do you guys think? White or yellow shea butter? Let me know in the comments what you think. 
Oh yeah, so I'm just gonna rub all that shit with it into my scalp. Who's Debbie? I don't know. Who's Debbie? I just put the shea butter with the oils. Yeah, that's fine. I use coconut oil with the shea butter and castor, and it whips nice when it's boiling. Maybe less shea butter. Maybe. You prefer yellow, Latrice? You always use a yellow one too. What's the difference between a yellow and a white? There's always like a debate about that. Is one better than the other? Is like one less processed than the other? I'm thinking about why I should put it to use with my white castor oil and white organic coconut oil to whip and freeze them. Whip till you get the right fluffy mix. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. All right. Nice. All right, we're all getting the works today, man. Usually I'm too lazy to even put shea butter on my scalp. Look at me out here. I don't think I will um braid my hair. Oh, maybe I should. At least the front, at least. I'll probably braid. I like to braid my hair up now, like when I finish like moisturizing it. Because it just makes life so much easier for the whole week, man. I don't ever have to think all week about combing my hair. Oh, yeah, I don't have to think, like once I, um, ooh. yeah, once I braid my hair, I don't have to think about combing my, like when I say braid, I say put, like, put, in, put in plaits, I don't have to think about combing my hair again for the rest of the week, I'm so lazy. It also saves time too. When I wake up in the morning, I just I take a shower. I don't even have breakfast because I'm fasting. Oh, usually I'm fasting in the morning. So I just roll out of bed, take a shower, brush my teeth, and I'm out the door. Don't gotta think about my hair. That's for sure. Anyways, um, now I shall apply. Wow, it's so funny. You know what's interesting though? My hair, like, it's not even wet. <laughs> I put on the leave-in conditioner, then the flaxseed, spritz with water, oil, and it's not wet. <laughs> it's actually not wet. My hair is like soaking this up. I don't know. I thought that my hair would be, well, I also didn't like soak it in water like that guy did. Hair is like not dripping wet. It doesn't even feel like, oh, it's, it's too wet right now. It's okay. Um... Ah, like that's, that's good to know. So one of the so one of the shea butters, whether yellow, probably the yellow one, has like ash in it. Ash. Who's watching? Because there are eleven people in this chat, and only two, three people are talking to me right now. <laughs> Who Mako in the scene here? As we see in Trinidad, is a Mako. If you're just sitting down there and watching, and you're not talking. That's what we say in Trinidad, Mac is a Maco MACO. You're minding my business. You're well, as they say, what they call it, lurkers. You're lurking. You is a Maco. You're just watching people's business and you're not saying nothing. All right. Well, that feels nice. That feels nice. Oh, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Ah, all right, so your hair is straight these days because it's the beginning of the year. So do you straighten your hair at the beginning of the year? Do you straighten your hair? Do you flat iron it? What do you do? Um, okay, let me see. I should probably put the shea butter on my scalp at this point in time. Okay. To the ends, let's do it. So I'm applying the shea butter to my hair. Right now. Oh, 
Oh, I'm liking this. Yo, my hair has come so far from when I lost hair last year. It has come so far. This hair loss has completely, oh God, what is this not? It's completely like halted, which is good to know. Anyways, so anybody else has been able to overcome hair loss, man? You don't understand how stressed out that could be. If you've never gone through hair loss, oh my god, I've been losing hair for years. Years I've been losing hair. To the point where I actually thought, oh, that's the normal amount of hair you're supposed to lose until I stopped losing it. I was like, oh. This is what I'm supposed to lose. Not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. So, we're almost there. With the huh, moisturizer. My, the ends of my hair start to clump up and not. And it's annoying me. It's annoying. I'm trying to push through it. I don't know why it's getting knotted so easily. But adding these shea butter is actually um, kind of reducing the knots, actually. So All right, so what else is going on with you guys? So I'm like pretty much doing the same thing over and over. Um, just applying the shea butter to my hair. Nothing exciting is happening right now with me or my hair. <clears throat> All right, so so I can't wait till when my hair dries and I could take it down and see what the results look like. That's what I actually look forward to. Um, well, this round usually I really don't care <laughs> what my hair looks like when I take it down too much, but. It's good to see, it would be good to see. Let me just put a little bit of shea butter on my scalp. Mmm. Let me see what Tasty Roots Castor oil looks good. Get online. I don't know if I know them. Um, yup, air dry, then fat iron, cut your ends, inversion. You measure photos, feel great about no heat for months. <laughs> Okay, how long is your hair now? I actually don't measure my hair, but um, how long is your hair? It, it, I call all the macos and they disappear, boy. What? What? So people just want to lurk without getting called out. Eh, okay, okay. You just want to lurk and not be bothered, eh? Lurkers be lurking. Yeah, is a macro if you were sitting down there and not saying anything. All right, I'm just putting some shea butter on my scalp. All right, I think that's it. 
So you do apple cider vinegar and black tea rinses. Yeah. Um, yeah, that seems to be my pre-poo. My ankle hip, she feels really... You know what I would say about this order that I did the... I did the products in this time? My hair doesn't feel like products just sitting on it. it feels like my hair, like, really soaked the products up, which is... Which is good. All right, so I'm tempted to just braid my hair into two big braids in the back. I move on with my life until later or something. Oh, I am tempted to do like one big braid on this side. I'm so tempted. And I have a feeling that it's exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'll braid it later. I don't want to braid right now. Under armpit, pit, oh sorry, under armpit length is your hair right now. Okay. Look at you with your long hair. You get it, girl. You swing your hair, girl. I'm just going to braid. That's how long my hair is, right? I'll be like... I think that's what my hair is. Okay, I'm being lazy. Oh, I'm just braiding it for now. I'll probably um later... I'll come back on and uh, I don't think I'll come back on live though. I'll come back when I come back home from um, my friend's place. I will um, I'll put it in smaller plots so that I don't have to deal with my hair for the rest of the weekend. And so I don't have to do it with my hair for the rest of the week, to be honest. Huh. <laughs> You're going to sleep now? You are going to sleep. It's 5.33 a.m. It's a.m. It's a.m. Did you see me in my hair flick for my little one braid? <laughs> So dramatic. <laughs> hey, fling your little one breeder. Fling your little one breed. Anyways. All right, so now I'm just going to braid the other side. Do you guys hear <laughs> Do you all braid your hair like this at all? Like, is this like a high school like hairstyle? It's like a, not high school, it's like a, yeah, it's like an elementary hairstyle, that's what I meant to say. Is it? Is it? I don't really care. I don't want to have to do my hair until later. I don't really want to do my hair right now, actually, to be honest. I don't want to braid it. It just ends up taking a long time. And I want to do something else. And I've been on this live stream a little too long, so... The fact, literally, is the same recipe for making flaxseed gel. <laughs> it's literally you just boil <laughs> flax seeds. But here's what you asked for it, I'll do it. For so doing my being on my live stream solo, well, not solo, but 
You've been active in my live stream. Thank you very much. I will do it for you. It's not a problem. Actually, it's not exactly the recipe for a fancy gel. It's slightly different. It's not as much fat seeds, so. It's not exactly the same. All right, so that's it for my braid. Yo, I will tell you this too. You see this braid that I have here right now? Three months ago, this was not the braid that I had. My hair would taper until here, and you see from here to here, it would be one skinny little braid. So my hair is actually doing really well. It was so, so skinny from, oh, I should have taken pictures of what I looked like. It was like, bro, if your hair is destroyed. But my hair is doing a lot, lot better now. From, um, I swear to God, from hair to hair was one thin, thin, like, you think this is thin? No, it gets thinner than that. I was going to tell you how bad my hair was. And it is doing so much better. My hair was not this thick at the ends before. Sheesh, this, this has come a long way, bro. Even this part here was not this thick as well. Oh, snap, I have to braid it again. Anyways, but I have to come back with some, and um, put it into some smaller plaits. I know I didn't, um, I didn't take pictures. Y'all, y'all don't understand how I hated, hated my hair back then, literally a few months ago. Um, my hair was horrible. I didn't take pictures. I'll tell you, I was like, bro, my hair is done. My hair is done. This is how it's going to be. All this YouTube stuff about my hair. No, that's not, this is not it. This is it. This is it, but it's also not it. So I honestly thought my hair would have stayed like that. I didn't take pictures. So I don't know. Um, or did I? Maybe I did. Who knows? Um, anyways. Um, oh, I saw you grew, you did your hair in sixth grade. Ah, but I'm not gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna come back later and break it. Maybe I'll come on live, who knows? But you have flaxseed. Oh, okay. I don't use the, the ground flaxseed, so okay, it makes sense why you would ask uh, for a video for flaxseed. Um, okay, so yeah, for the flaxseed tea, I may I use flax seeds. Not the flaxseed meal. Okay, I can see where that can be a little confusing. So, okay, I understand. All right, All right, lady. Or as you say, ladybug. I'm heading off now. So, for those who are watching or you're still watching, thank you so much for watching and lurking. Wink, wink. And I want to, if you want to continue lurking, you can join my Patreon by just paying $5 per month. And I would appreciate you for that. But if you just want to buy me a coffee, feel free to do that as well. You can. And you can do that at buymeacoffee.com slash ev360 TV. And I would also I would also love you for that as well. All right, guys. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, Latrice. Thanks for jumping back in again. Um, thank you again. Thank you so much again for watching. Those who did watch, enjoy the rest of your day. And I will too. And I will see you in the next live stream. Bye.